Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So why aren't I concerned about the latest and greatest JavaScript frameworks? Bottom line is it's not really super relevant in terms of jobs. If you know JavaScript and you know any of the popular frameworks, just one of them, and you, you don't have to know it well, just good enough, you should be okay. Now, if you're an experienced developer, what you do is you just look at the job opportunities in your area and, and you align yourself accordingly. <clears throat> so for example, recently I saw this guy who was pretty famous, uh, Martin something or another, Scorselli or anyway, it's a New York City job. Point is, he's asking for all these traditional things, Java and all these different frameworks and so forth. And if you know that, he said big pay, he's, he's, he's trying to entice people because there is still a huge demand for experienced developers. There's no question about that. So it's not about choosing a particular JavaScript framework that's going to make any difference whatsoever, in fact. Much better off, as I said, to learn the AI stack as well. Learn how to use AI to augment your JavaScript. So step number one, after you know your basics, so on, step number one is you want to look at the job market and look at the job opportunities. This is something I keep hammering on because a lot of people kind of escapes them. They're like, I just did you know, do a little search on indeed.com in your area. What are the job opportunities? What are people looking for? That's going to give you a good idea about how and what to study, what to bone up on. So when you do apply for a particular job, you have your resume emphasizing the stuff that they want. Better yet, you know, make sure that you look and apply for jobs where you are a good fit for that job. If you've never worked with Java, you would say you've only worked with, I don't know, JavaScript. Don't start applying for senior Java jobs, right? You're not a Java programmer. Yeah, so the JavaScript framework boom is, is pretty much over in the sense that the big, huge, irrational demand for that stuff has gone away. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of work for JavaScript programmers. People know React, people know Vue, and people know Node and Express. There's plenty of work in that in those areas. But it's just normal now. It's normalized. It's not this crazy uh, frenzy. The frenzy now, of course, I've been saying it, it's in the AI space. Again. Software developers, this, is, this used to be kind of old news, but for software developers have to adapt to what's new, now the old stuff. And uh, so that's why I don't look at the latest JavaScript frameworks. I haven't looked at them in a long time because I don't think it's super relevant. I think I would only look at them when I was, had a particular job where, let's say, I want to do some specific type of client-side development. Then I start looking at it then seeing what's out there. Again, following the basic rules I always talk about, don't invest in technology that's very niche, very rare, unless you absolutely have to. The worst thing you can do for a project is to become, uh, to use some rare niche technology that uh, in about a year or two no longer supported. That's bad, that's bad. So anyway, there you go. So if you're looking at jobs, you're looking at opportunities, not about the JavaScript framework, it's about your overall coding skills, it's about understanding the AI space, how the AI is used in, in software development. It's about good interpersonal skills. That, these are all much more important than any particular framework. That, though, that, that ship has sailed in terms of getting the job because you know React only. That's past. Now it's, of course, it's, it's the AI vertical combined with good solid fundamentals of software development. I'm Uncle Steph. I teach people about software development, careers, jobs, how to learn, what to learn. And uh, yeah, you can watch my videos. You can watch my lives, rather, where you can get, you get an opportunity to ask some questions about anything, really. So there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm very bullish in development now. I'm recording this December 9th, 2025. I think mean, it's going to be a fantastic next few years for people who leverage the new tech. Whenever a new technology comes into play, massive opportunities for uh, developers uh, come about. Massive opportunities. Mm -hmm.